So we're given this diagram and what I would suggest is that you copy the diagram down and what we've got to do is put on the forces acting on the uniform rod AB. Now first of all it's a uniform rod of weight W so that means that the weight acts directly in the middle of the rod and it will act downwards so I'm going to do away with this three meters alright we'll just take that out and we'll mark in the weight of W newtons acting downwards so that means that this distance now is 1.5 meters so mark that in and obviously this distance on this side is 1.5 meters we have a load suspended at B of 20 newtons so we'll put that down there that's the weight acts downwards 20 newtons and to support this we've got the two ropes attached at A and C so there's going to be tensions forcing forces acting upwards in these two ropes to support the force acting downwards we don't know what these are but let's use the letter T to denote a tension and because they are going to be different let's have this as T A newtons and this one acting at C upwards as T C newtons now we've got to find the tension acting in this rope here attached to C so how are we going to do it well questions like this involve taking moments and what I'm going to do is take moments so I'll put a little M there but whereabouts do we take the moment well if we want to find TC theoretically we can take it about any point but to make this problem simpler to solve the best place we can take moments about is A because that would mean because this force passes through the point A it won't be included in any equation so that would be the best place to take moments about A we also need a sense, a positive sense. Again, it doesn't matter which way you take the positive sense, whether you take it clockwise or anticlockwise. But I want to find TC and I want to keep it positive in the equation. So I'm going to take anticlockwise as positive. Alright, so that's set up what I'm going to do so let's set up the equation now so remember that when you take a moment it is force times the perpendicular distance to the line of action of the force so let's start off with this tension here we've got the force that tension TC multiplied by the distance to the point A, the perpendicular distance, so that'd be AC which is 1.8 meters so we'll times that by 1.8. Now we'll move on to the W. W acts in the other sense so it'd be the negative sense now it would want to turn the rod clockwise so we'd have minus the force W times the distance to A which is 1.5 now we'll move on to the load here of 20 newtons that too wants to turn about A in a clockwise sense so that would be negative so minus the force 20 times the distance to A which is 3 meters this force here as I said earlier doesn't turn the rod about A because the force acts through A so we can neglect that so that means we've taken all the forces so this is our resultant moment about A and because it's in equilibrium that resultant must equal zero so all I need to do now is just rearrange this to make TC the subject. 
I think what I'll do though really is we'll just tidy this up as well. So we've got 1.8 TC and if I take these two terms to the other side by adding them to both sides we will get that this equals 1.5 W plus 20 times 3 which is 60. Now if I divide by 1.8 to both sides I've got TC equals 1.5 W over 1.8 and I've also got 60 divided by 1.8 and if I now multiply top and bottom here by 10 I've got 15 W over 18 and if I times top and bottom here by 10 I've got 600 over 18 and I can reduce this down I could divide top and bottom by 3 and I would get 5 over 6 so we've got 5 6 W and if I divide top and bottom here by 6 I will have 100 divided by 3 and all of that would be Newtons. So that gives me the tension in the string or rope at C. Alright? So that brings me to the end of this part of the question.